I'm not giving away my shot, shot. I'm not giving away my shot, shot. Yo, I did went to Little Italy. I didn't do diddly. And I'm going to get pop, pop, pop. Why, by Aaron Burr is going to pop me, pop a cap in my ass when we have a duel, yo. Yo, it's American history with a rap, rap, hip-hop tinge, yo. Done by a beat poet rapper who is a fucking horrible nerd. I hated this musical way before you. I would just like to say that I nominated Lynn manuel Miranda as the most annoying guy since Jeremy Piven months ago. Yo, oh, yo, it's Lynn, and I have to laugh. How can we need not be equal? We're like half. Like, women are like half of the people on Earth. But you wouldn't listen. And then we found out they're doing casting calls for whites only. We got with that civil rights attorney Randolph McLaughlin going, uh, what if they put out an ad that said whites only need apply? And I remember the Huffington Post, some woman named Zeba Blay said, uh, no, 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 they should have said what races they want, not they don't want white races. No, that wasn't the case, Zebes. They wanted non-whites. They don't really care if they're black or mulatto or Puerto Rican. As long as they're not whites, do you know why? I'll tell you why. Because Americans, white Americans, especially rich white Americans, especially rich white female Americans, don't find our accomplishments palatable. They uh, don't like looking at dead presidents. That's a big hip-hop term. That's a band, dead prez. They like to, uh, I'm sick of looking at dead white guys. Okay, do you hate looking at Japanese guys when you look at Japanese history too? So, to overcome this embarrassing uh, richness of culture and history, they take black people and put them in there. And then black people make it a yo hip hop thing. And now it's like the whiz. Now Michael Jackson is casting it. And now we can sit there and go, we did it. Oh my God, we were fascinating. When we're Puerto Rican and black women, I think, yeah, you go girl, you go American history, yeah. So Mike Pence shows up. Uh, to go check out this highly overrated play, as Donald Trump put it, in a tweet. And, and just to be clear here with Donald Trump, we're not bananas about the tweets either. Let's slow it down a little bit, D. Uh, and everyone starts booing him because he's a Republican. And by the way, the, the view that liberals have of this election is from the miniseries V in the 80s, where they think that these robot evil Nazi stormtroopers are taking over America, and soon everyone's going to be conscripted to uh, force gays into the gulags. Anyway, and blacks. And he comes out, and everyone's booing him. <laughs> I mean, the theater. And uh, he goes, that's the sound of freedom, he says to his family. This guy's been doing this since the 80s. He knows what he's doing. So they see this ridiculous play that is, I think it's three hours long of black people rapping to you, pretending that they were the founding fathers. Then when it's done, this one guy comes out. What's his name? Brandon Brexler. He comes out and he has prepared a little speech for the team. Brandon Victor Dixon, the guy who plays Aaron Burr. Now... <laughs> the whole concept of Hamilton, too. I mean, this was a very noble time we can afford to be proud of. Aaron Burr and Hamilton had a long-standing uh, legacy of uh, contrition that went back and forth. Um, they would, uh, they published a, 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 a horrible opinion of him in, in the Albany Journal, and then uh, he also uh, tried to uh, um, destroy his election campaign when when he was. Uh, running for president, and it went back and forth as it did, and there was letters written, and then eventually they came to a duel, and they go, ah, I don't like that. I want, I want a black dude to do it. You know, black dude. The most, first of all, everyone in theater is embarrassing. Actors are losers. People in theater are stupid alcoholic losers, womanizing morons and homosexuals, and then this guy is the worst of all of them. Look at him in The Lion King. Imagine that was your son, the shame you would feel. Anyway, they prefer him to these aristocrats having a duel. And this moron comes out with a ridiculous speech that sounds like it was written by a babysitter. Check out this speech. Can you pull this up? They stop, the, so this is after the show. Look at the people behind him. You know, we had a, a, a guest in the audience this evening. <laughs> Vice President-elect Pence, I see you walking out, but I hope you will hear us just a few more moments. There's nothing to move with, ladies and gentlemen. There's nothing to move with. We're all here sharing a story of love. 
We have a, we have a message for you, sir. We hope that you will hear us out. Okay, where do you hear this message? And I encourage everybody to pull out your phones and tweet and post because this message needs to be spread far and wide, okay? Vice President-elect Pence, we welcome you and we truly thank you for joining us here at Hamilton and Oh, Union. how open-minded of you. We you should, allow Republicans. You didn't shoot them like you did Lincoln. Who are alarmed and anxious that your new administration will Stop. protect us. Okay, this is reiterating what I said about theater people being human garbage. We are alarmed that your new administration will not protect us. Have you ever read a children's book in your life? Could you have the language at your disposal any less? We are alarmed that your new administration will not protect us. That not only is a ridiculous notion that blacks and gays and women are not included in the law. It's, that's a children's cartoon. That's like Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Keep going. Our parents, the new America does not include parents. But we truly hope that this show has inspired you to uphold our okay. American values. That's enough. That's what he's saying, right? He's saying we, we uh, are a very inclusive bunch, multicultural, blah, 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 and we hope this, that you think of us every time. Actually, Brandon said that later. He said, I hope he thinks of us every time he makes a law. So there'll be a law like, let's kill the gays, black gays especially, and he'll go, Mike Pence will go, yeah, yeah. And they'll go, what's the matter, Mike? Sign it. Ah. Uh, Something's nagging at my conscience. This guy, by the way, the guy who did that, this is a guy who says, hoes ain't what they used to be. Sorry, aren't. He did have good grammar there. Hoes aren't what they used to be. If ho game would step up, cats would get, cats wouldn't get distracted. This is another guy, by the way, who loves St. Patrick's Day because it's easy to, uh, I assume, rape drunk white woman. It's like Christmas for black guys who are into white women. This is what we get when we go, I don't want Hamilton or Aaron Burr in my story. I want one of these guys. Okay, well, the guy you're replacing him with is way worse. Hey, liberal America, you keep rewriting history, you keep trying to reboot the patriarchy, but you keep replacing it with things that are way worse. There's nothing wrong with our history being white. Of course there's nothing wrong with black actors. When Shakespeare does it, I think it's interesting. This is different. Hamilton is appeasing white guilt in a really sick and silly reverse Sambo way that is not, it's, you think it's palatable for you to watch? I find it incredibly distasteful to have these, this rapist up there preaching to the vice president about how to run the world with toilet paper around his neck for crying out loud. Hi folks, that was a Rebel Media short. I have my own show on Rebel Media called How's It Going? You gotta pay for that one. Check it out right here.